Hello everybody and welcome to How to Mondays. My name is Patrick and we're going to be doing our five part series to show you the different kind of light modifiers. We're going to be looking at the difference comparing them so that you can see what softbox or light modifier works best for the kind of photography that you do. So in part one we're going to be looking at a reflective umbrella versus a shoot through umbrella. And hopefully you shall get to learn something new about what you didn't know or something you knew but you just need to confirm. We have got a beautiful model Mokami. Mokami does marketing in case you need any marketing strategy or marketing done for you or your products please check out on this link over here and you'll be sorted. So to our shoot. First shot, we're not going to have the lights on so that we make sure that we have got ambience light and you can see the difference. So that's the kind of picture we have. And then now we have our power on. And you see, okay. So that's the kind of light that we get. Let me just take another one. Okay. So now as you can see, because uh, of the direction of the umbrella we're getting a bit of light onto the background so i'll just tilt this a bit so that now most of the light now is on our model okay. so i expect not to see too much light on the background yeah as you can see now we have got at least less light falling onto the background and we have more light onto our model Let's switch our modifier. So one of the things that we'll try and do is we'll try to maintain the same height and the same settings both on camera and on the on our strobe so that we have an accurate assessment of how it works. Okay. So this is a close up. So the major difference between the shoot through and the reflective is that with the shoot through I notice that we've got a lot of light spillage all over the place and then we're also losing so much light. With the reflective umbrella I noticed that the light was falling onto our subject and also on the background but it was a little bit more intense considering that there was less light loss compared to when you're using the shoot through umbrella. So in conclusion is that with the shoot through umbrella you'll, you'll be able to get a larger light spectrum and you're going to be able to illuminate a little bit more okay but then we'll end up using more power from your strobe or your flash now with the reflective umbrella you get the light more concentrated at one spot meaning you get proper use of of power and then also the kind of feel that you get it definitely the light is definitely much more softer so for the two, depending on what you want, if you're shooting group photo, then the shoot umbrella works good for you. But then if you want something a little bit more intimate, then now the reflective umbrella will work for you. So till next week, keep it photography.